to read and reading with comprehension are very important skills. In South Africa, research and students' academic results indicate that something is amiss. But a uniquely South African invention may just help addressing literacy issues. The inventor of the Casper Literacy Wheel, Dr. Lydia Abel, heads up an NGO which, amongst others, supports socio-economic development through addressing education challenges like literacy. The Casper Literacy Wheel was a tool that responded to our need for a low-tech tool to help children with reading because reading in this country is the biggest problem we have and most of the children under the age of nine can't read well enough in order to read to learn. And that's a big problem. If you can't read, you can't learn. Each colour represents a different thinking mode. It integrates the key elements of language acquisition and literacy instruction, focusing on the what, why, when, where, who and how. It's suitable for addressing South Africa's problems because the language issues are the major problem that we have. So this wheel has English on one side and this particular one has COSA on the other side. So for children learning second language English, they can flip between the COSA and the English and vice versa. Technically, the literacy wheel is meant for grade four to six learners and teachers. It not only proved its mettle in Ort SA Cape's literacy projects in the Western Cape, but it also turned out to be useful from grade R through to matric and university level, says Dr. Abel. So, Ort SA Cape's sister organization in Johannesburg, Ort SA, introduced teachers to the wheel as part of its Mama K reading project. What we want to do is give teachers another tool to use in the classrooms um, so that they can teach good reading skills. I think we've seen from the reaction of the almost 100 or maybe more teachers that have been through the program that there's definitely interest on their side. According to the research conducted and the annual national tests, the results indicate that our learners are not reading at expected levels. As a result, we are now coming up with different intervention strategies to improve our reading levels of our learners. We have decided to choose this type of training because the training is linked to our CAPS Curriculum Assessment Policy Statement, which is implemented presently. I work with mainly children who are struggling readers, struggling in various aspects of literacy, and I think the wheel makes it concrete and alive for them. And I think it engages them in the learning process and making them part of their own learning. And it brings it down to their level and an attainable level in bringing in what are we learning, how are we learning it, clarifying, summarizing, as well as teaching the children skills in order to approach a comprehension. And I think it can be wonderfully used right from your grade Rs up until grade seven and even further when children and your adolescents are learning any of their subjects within school. This is one strategy that teachers can use effectively. It summarizes what they need to do, all the steps that they need to follow when uh, doing your guided group reading, your shared reading. So this is a methodology that will simplify the teaching. It will help them in effective teaching and learning on the reading methodologies. The Literacy Wheel is currently available in Afrikaans, English, Kosa and Zulu as well as a cell phone app version. There are also plans to translate it to more languages, continue spreading the word about the wheel, as well as to do formal scientific research on it. South Africa's literacy issues have many causes, but this invention seems to potentially be a helpful tool addressing the challenges. Marisa de Klerk, Joburg to